My husband cheated with his coworker, so I faked being pregnant and then divorced him. So let me just start off by saying that I never thought I'd be in this position. I mean, I'd heard about it happening to other people, but you never think it's going to happen to you, right? My husband, let's call him Matt, and I have been together for six years, and we've been married for two of those years. We had our ups and downs, like any couple, but I never thought he'd cheat on me. I trusted him completely, and I thought he felt the same way about me. And of course, I was wrong. It all started when a good friend of mine, Jenna, got a job at the same company as my husband. It's a pretty big company, so I didn't think it was a big deal. Jenna and I have been friends since high school. About a month after Jenna started working there, she texted me saying that she had seen Matt flirting with another coworker in the break room. I didn't believe her at first because it just seemed so out of character for him. But then she said she had even walked in on them kissing. My heart dropped. I was devastated. I wanted to confront Matt right then, but I decided to see a lawyer first. I mean, I knew it was over. There was no way I was going to put up with that, so divorce was inevitable. While I was talking to the lawyer about my options, I had a brilliant idea just pop into my head. Instead of just hitting Matt with divorce papers out of nowhere, I wanted to give him a taste of his own medicine and make him hurt a little. I wanted him to feel the same kind of betrayal and hurt that I felt. So, I came up with a plan. I faked a positive pregnancy test by using a pink marker on the test to make it look like a positive result. He didn't know what they were supposed to look like, so it was an easy sell. I went through all of the motions of surprising him with the test, and I acted super excited about it all. Matt was in shock, but eventually, he seemed genuinely happy about the news. I felt a little guilty for what I was about to do, but I reminded myself that he had cheated on me, and he deserved what was coming. The next day, Jenna texted me saying that she had overheard Matt talking to the coworker he had cheated with. Let's call her Angie. Jenna basically made it her duty to continue spying for me, which was a huge help. She said he was explaining that he had to break things off with her because we were going to have a family now. Jenna pretended to be using the copier nearby and eavesdropped on their conversation, reporting everything back to me. Angie eventually left the break room in tears. I knew now that Matt had effectively abandoned Angie, and now it was time for me to drop the first bomb on him. I had the divorce papers delivered to him at work the next day, along with a note that said, I know you cheated with Angie. Too bad things aren't working out for the two of you, huh? I'm taking our baby and leaving. See you in the next life. I know it sounds harsh, but trust me, it felt so good to finally get that off my chest. Of course, Matt was devastated. He begged and begged for me to take him back and to be together as a family. I let him grovel for a few days, just to let the reality of the situation sink in. He sent me countless texts and voicemails, pleading with me to give him another chance. He even showed up at my work with flowers, trying to make amends. But I knew I couldn't trust him anymore. I deserve better than a cheating husband. After a few days of letting him suffer, I decided it was time to drop the final bombshell. I sent him a letter at work, accompanied by a bouquet of flowers so that maybe for a brief moment he would think I wanted to get back together. Nope. The note said, I was never pregnant, you idiot. I knew you cheated, so just count all of this emotional turmoil as payback. I could only imagine the look on his face when he looked at that card. Well, as you can probably guess, Matt was absolutely crushed. Not only had he lost his wife, but he also didn't have Angie to fall back on. More devastating than that was the fact that he really thought we were going to have and be a family. I wasn't sure exactly how much that was going to affect him, but it did. A lot. I think it made things that much more real for him, knowing that he lost a faithful companion and the all-too-real idea of creating a family with me. He was left completely alone, and honestly, it felt pretty good knowing that he got what he deserved. I heard through the grapevine that he tried to rekindle things with Angie, but she wanted nothing to do with him. After all, if he could cheat on his wife, what would stop him from cheating on her? He eventually left the company, and I haven't heard anything else about him since. Now, you might be wondering if I have any regrets about the way I handled things. And to be completely honest with you, I don't. I know that some people might say that two wrongs don't make a right, but in this case, I felt like it was the perfect way to teach Matt a lesson and take back control of my own life. So, there you have it. That's the story of how I found out my husband cheated on me with his coworker, and how I got my revenge by faking a pregnancy and then divorcing him. Ouch. He asked for some emotional devastation, and boy did he get it. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.